getting back into readings again will be really fun. I set out to create these cards thinking I was just going to do, oh, maybe a deck of, you know, maybe about 40, 50 cards or something. And I ended up creating 118 images and in three different decks plus a 10 card bonus. And they're now, um, you can actually go ahead and pre-purchase them on my Kickstarter campaign to help bring it into reality. I love these cards. And of course, I made them, so I love them even more, but <laughs> I think you will too. I'm shuffling together the first two of the trilogy. It's actually a three card, a three card trilogy. I would highly recommend buying all three. You can split them up and use them in all kinds of different ways. And this is the Nuance Oracle, uh, Nuance Lenormand, and the um, Picturesque Lenormand, which are the first two parts of the Nuance Oracle. So let's go ahead and do um, a card. We're doing a Heart of the Soulmate here. What's going on between the two of you? Here's one of you, here's the other. And then here's the two of you. What's going on between? What is that? A little mark on my card. Okay. I printed them on nice, um, good quality, high quality German black core um, poker card. And these are the size, a little bit narrower than a poker card and a little bit longer, which makes them a really nice size for handling and gives me enough room for the image and for the words. So if you have been interested in learning Lenormand or if you really love tarot and, you're, and you like aspects of tarot that you, uh, this card, this deck kind of brings them both together in a really beautiful way. And you can still read them just like Lenormand cards, which is very conversational. I like Lenormand because it's very direct and gets really specific. Uh, and then, um, but it, as a reader, it also, I just, I have a lot of things that I can end up saying about this one reading. So here we go. One of you guys, um, definitely has love. Love is all about love and romance, joy. Your heart's desire is being featured here. And there's, um, actually this archer here is, is the same as the writer card in, 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 in the first deck, a regular the Normand. So there's the idea of momentum, movement, achievement, um, you know, getting somewhere, um, even a message because there's... I'm actually right now being reminded about the poem that says, I shot an arrow into the air, it fell to earth, I know not where, and, and so on. And so then what, in the end of that poem, it basically says that the poem was found again in the heart of a friend. And so it's like that, you know, there's an idea of with arrows being messages and messages and words. But there's about this idea of aim and focus and being on target. And so with the love Whoever this is, they're really anchored into, and they're being they're stable. So if you're in a, you know, you have a question here, if this is the other person or the, the relationship you're in, they're um, this person really loves you, you really love them, and it's stable. And there's there's a lot of focus on love. If it hasn't seemed like that, they are your go-to guy or gal, and there really is love here, and you can really count on it. The anchor is a very positive card saying you can count on this is um your heart's desire there's love here affection fulfillment and there you know there is a little bit of advice here about being careful to aim toward that target um being having that focus not losing the focus of the love kind of there on this side we have one kind of challenge card which is the yarn it's about complications problems and things that need to be untangled but there's Assurance here, actually double assurance, uh, triple assurance, because we have the double rainbow, which is double assurance of your uh, kind of wishes coming true. In fact, this is the, the card that sits opposite of the stars in the other in the regular deck, and it's about divine intervention, um, perfect timing, uh, ascension. Really, is what's what's happening here. This is about ascension and bringing the divine down into the earth. Uh, you know, bringing it and manifesting it into the physical plane. So whatever complications and difficulties this side is going through or is experienced between the two of you, that is part of this whole process of growth and development and of ascension. And it really is going to work out just fine. You're going to get it untangled. All these problems and annoyances and difficulties will, will be sorted out. <coughs> and um, there will be happiness and harmony and warmth and love, beauty, everything here that you might ever desire, even a gift. This situation it is actually even saying that the, the problems are a gift because it is through those problems that ends up, for one thing, the divine really ends up shining through even brighter when there are difficulties because we really realize how um, incredibly 
powerful we are as divine beings for one or how much how powerful the divine aid the aid of the divine is and the influence and the effect of the divine energy power god source everything is in our lives and that's one reason that you know we when we have these troubles we get through them they are a gift in a sense even though it's not always fun to go through them it's not fun to be tied up like that um this also could be i'm, I'm getting that some of you um there is someone who is tied up in another situation right now. There's a lot of love between the two of you, but they're still held back from being in union with you for a number of different reasons, whether, you know, whatever's going on in this other person's life. But it is all for the best as well. It is all for their growth and for their experience of ascension, and it will all turn out well in the end. So what's going on between the two of you is change has been developing over time. So it, the Storks is generally a card that's about just, you know, rapid change, major movement, major change, big growth, big upheaval. Not upheaval like in the negative way of like a storm, like the tornado card in my deck, but um, there's still like just major changes and everything is going on and activity. But the Wine is a very slow card. So this has been developing over time. You might not have even seen this change coming because, you know, between the two of you. So this is saying... Whatever's happened between the two of you, I feel like this is probably for most of my viewers, this is you and you've recognized the love, you've felt it, you're anchored into it, you might have gone through all of your, you know, troubles and... I feel like for most of my viewers, this is you and you have really known for a long time, you've been anchored into it, you haven't let go. Um, I'm even getting like with the, with the um, archer, see she's holding on to her arrow, bow and arrow, and there's... She is ta she's taking the time and taking careful aim and will be very precise with that. Like you've been careful. You've you've maintained your focus. You've you've been you've had your eyes on the prize and you've known this was your go-to guy or gal over here. You haven't let go of the love. You're anchored in that. And they've just been tangled up and tied up in some things and it's just, you know, taken some time and it's but but change is coming for you guys. This is major change is coming. It's just that you're not, it's been developing for a very long time and you may not quite see it yet. Um, networking, marketing, expanding, exposure, spotlight. I'm feeling like for, the reason this card is coming up here is that they're wanting to put exposure and a spotlight and, and on the, especially the idea of expansion, expansion of this change and you know, the Milky Way is, like, it's so broad and so expansive and putting, like, it's out there. The change that's coming, this is it, the change that's coming is going to be exposed and it's going to be public and a spotlight will be put on it. It will be out there. Social media, I'm even kidding. <laughs> like, all of a sudden on social media, you'll be like, yeah, we're together. You know, you put the little thing there. Um, uh, I'm, you know, in a, in a relationship with <laughs> that, but it's coming. It's been coming for a long time, but it's finally coming. So let's go ahead and take a look at planetary influences first. So this is the 10 extra cards I created. If you actually pair these with the uh, 12 signs of the zodiac, you have the major arcana. And I was then I wasn't going to put this with this deck at all, and then I decided to go ahead and, and include it as a special bonus for those of you who support my campaign. It's available only for the campaign. It will be available probably in the future as part of a, a tarot deck I'll do. So anyway, we're going to take a look and see what kind of planetary influences. And I'm just going to draw one. Okay, so we have Neptune, the Hanged Man. So again, we kind of have that idea of this time. The wine that's developing over time. But that's the thing is that there is epiphany. There is... Um, there might have been illusion and, you know, like not seeing through things at first. But because you surrendered... Even they were surrendering because they had to surrender to this whole process as well because they're just as much on an ascension path as you are. And you surrendered to that. And so that gave enlightenment that's happening in both of your, you know, between the two of you, both are being enlightened. It's all about enlightenment. And, um, you know, this hanged man kind of thing, it doesn't last forever. Then, you know, there's always the cycle of the, the, the um, going through the major arcana there's always movement and so sorry i keep forgetting 
my camera is in a little bit of a different situation than it normally is, so I keep forgetting I have to keep my cards back. Okay, so let's take a look at Spirit Animal Guides. What do we have to say to this person here, the raccoon, and then to this person here, the albatross. So, these cards both kept coming up today. Uh, the raccoon, it always does seem like it keeps coming up on the side of my viewers, which I feel this is you. Uh, and it's just saying, first of all, there's the creative and clever problem solver. So, you know, there's a creative and clever um, way to move forward in this situation. And, um, you know, keep your eyes on the prize, that careful aim and whatever else. But a part of that creative problem solving is for you to focus on your own deal. You doing you. You being the entrepreneur. Um, you being curious and resourceful and creative and, you know, letting your creative juices flow and, um, you know, because that really helps create this energy of it's movement and it is um, certainly the movement you know, like you, this is what you can do for you as the situation continues to unfold in its own time. As this person over here gets untangled, they're on a destined path. Now, the albatross comes up because um, I chose this card. It actually is part of what helps to convey the, one of the meanings of the word of the cross card which is the part of the cross that talks about um, burdens and guilt. And the story with the albatross is that it is on its own, it's a very, very good omen. And when people were out at sea, they would see an albatross, know they were close to land, so it was always a good sign to see an albatross. And then one sailor killed an albatross and then brought bad luck on his whole ship. And so they ended up taking that albatross and tying it around his neck and making him wear it for weeks. And um, that he had to carry around the burdens of his guilt, of his crime, you know, what he had done. And this is interesting to come up here. I think it's just letting you know that um, this person over here does feel some sadness, guilt, shame, regret, or whatever, and maybe even feels cursed in a way. Like, it, it is, this being all tied up has been hard for them. And there's a, sometimes a tendency to even feel sorry for themselves in that because that's kind of what even the shame and guilt and regret can do is we sometimes can even get into a bit, bit of a pity party about that. Sometimes they do that. Um, but they also truly feel sorry at times of like that they're so tied up that they can't be with you right now. That whatever their situation is that they haven't untangled from yet, that they are still whatever. Because you know, sometimes it's just their own choices. They just haven't gotten to the point where they're ready to make that choice. But the universe is working on their behalf, and um, the albatross is just coming up, I think, to let you know that about that situation. So, all right, let me do some timing here to see when will we see this situation kind of sh shift and change. We know the change is coming. It's just been taking some time, so I feel like whoever's watching this, it's been going on for a while. Timing-wise, we actually get fairly soon. We get Aries, which is air signs, which is days. So for many people... You could literally see some kind of a shift within a week, but the other kind of timing aspect here is March 22 through April 21st or the spring. Spring is right around the corner. Could literally be in the sign of Aries, which is our next sign coming up. So very soon or actually throughout the spring, sometime during the spring. So you're really on the verge of seeing this shift and change where you haven't seen change for a long time. The change has been going on. It's been developing and you'll see something of that change occur within the next time frame there that's listed. Thanks so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel, and we will see you around soon. If you'd like to get a set of my cards, um, check out my Kickstarter campaign, and um, I hope you do get them. All right, we'll talk to you later. As a longtime tarot card user, I recently took the leap into learning Lenormand, another great intuitive divination tool for accessing the higher knowing of our subconscious mind. Developed in the 18th century by a famous seer, it has a unique voice and direct approach to everyday matters in life. With just 36 cards and simple imagery of things like the sun, the moon, a letter, or a tree, this system delivers thousands of specific meanings through corresponding two card pairs. That's a vast possibility of intuitive messages, but the task of becoming proficient in its use is truly daunting. To tackle the learning curve, I decided to create a Lenormand-based oracle of my own. 
that would be visually appealing but also contain easy to read keywords to convey the card's various possible meanings and contain additional cards that could represent the most common two card pairs. It would also include timing cards because who doesn't want to know when something is going to occur. The final result of my creative design process has yielded a trilogy, three sets of 36 cards for a total of 108. The picturesque Lenormand Oracle is a beautiful, classic oracle with warm, inviting images evocative of old photo albums. The nuance Lenormand Oracle contains additional cards that were carefully chosen to represent the meanings of the most common two-card pairs from the Lenormand. The Zodiac and Spirit Animal Oracle contains 12 cards to represent each sign of the Zodiac and to address timing, but also to show up in a breeding as a particular person, similar to the Tarot Court cards. A number of animals showed up with powerful things to say. Their voices add nuance and reveal secrets of spirit and remind us of our connection to Source. I'm also offering a collector's bonus exclusive to this campaign. It is 10 additional cards that are the planets, including the Sun and the Moon, and when paired with the 12 signs of the Zodiac, they actually form the major arcana from the Tarot. This Kickstarter will fund the first run edition of the Nuance Oracle Trio, and subsequent sales will finance the completion of Intuit, an intuitive divination app I've developed based on the Tarot and Lenormand. The rewards are as follows. I'm completely finished with the Intuit Nuance Oracle Trio card images. So as soon as the campaign is over, they will be sent immediately to the printers. Thank you so much for your support. I truly can't wait until they're printed, packaged, and shipped to you. And I'm confident that you'll enjoy using them as much as I have enjoyed creating them.